then drop drop shipping tutorial for beginners hey guys welcome back in this video i'll be showing you guys how you can get started with drop shipping on zendrop so let's get into it now what does drop shipping mean and how can zendrop help you or facilitate you in drop shipping well zendrop is a supplier that enables you to find some winning products and then sell them directly to your customers they have a verification process for their suppliers they have different types of products from different countries so you can enable fastest shipping to your customers for example if i am primarily targeting customers in canada so i can find suppliers that are present in canada that would enable me to provide lower shipping rates and time to make sure that my customer satisfaction remains very high. Now, they also let you automate the shipping process, build brands, get analytics, have subscription boxes, as well as custom branding. So I will be using my Shopify store as an example where I want to get started with Zendrop dropshipping. So to get started, you can go into settings and you can go into apps and sales channel and you can open up the Shopify app store. Now keep in mind that you do have to create an account on Zendrop and you can click on get started now to get started for free. And in the meanwhile, I'm going to go into Zendrop and install the Zendrop application from the Shopify app store into my Shopify store. This will enable me to sync up all of my orders and make sure that my dropshipping process is simple and efficient. So once I have downloaded this, you will see an account will be created for you. If you don't have an account already, you can just sign up with your email address and your store will be linked. So on the left, I have my store link and now I can get started with Zendrop dropshipping on Shopify. So on the left, I have a dashboard which allows me to view key metrics from my store as well as a find product section where I can find successful products. Then you have a my product section which allows you to see any of the products that you have currently listed, any issues you're facing, as well as the import list where you can add items in a queue and then later on choose which ones you want to list on your store now and which ones you might want to do later. Know that you have some extra options where you can avail some other services, including AliExpress imports, trendy products, and drop academy bundles and boxes, and customized branding for your products. However, keep in mind all of these features are only available with the premium plans on Zendrop. And then below that, you have a print on demand section, which is currently coming to Zendrop. They haven't launched it as of yet, but in the coming months, they will launch their own print on demand. So you will be able to create customized designs for your Shopify store. Now to get started, first off, we're going to go into find products on the left and we are going to find a successful product. So to find a successful product, you guys can see if you directly go into find products, it will display some new arrivals. This will show you some of the top selling products that they currently have that are new. And you can go on ahead and choose a filter as well. So if it ships from anywhere, if it ships from the US or China, then you have the categories, then you have suppliers, then you also have price ranges. So let's say I am looking for items specifically in the bath and beauty category, and I don't want them to be shipped from anywhere. And now after that, I can browse around and take a look at some of the products that are available. So we have this makeup sponge holder, this facial ice roller. And I think this is actually a really good product because I have seen this be pretty trending in the TikTok community. So the product cost is anywhere between one to eight dollars. Now it's actually one dollars and fifty six cents for the product, but the shipping on this is pretty high where the shipping is $4. So the product cost is in total $6. I still think I could usually sell this for around $12. And that's a pretty good price. So what I'm going to do is I can click on sample order to place a sample order for this particular product. And that usually is going to be at a higher price, but that will enable you to see the product quality and actually assess it before you start sending it out to customers. Now I will click on add to my product and then I can go into my product on the left panel. Now I can click on import list on the top and I can view the current product. So I can click on this product and you know view the details again and then I am going to click on review and publish. Now once you click on review and publish from here you're going to customize how this product from Zendrop is going to look like on your store. So 
I have some basic tags that have been added. Let's say I want to add self-care as a tag. I can add more tags as I go. I'm going to add facial ice roller as the title of my product. Then I have the product type, which is going to be women. And then I have the collection I want to add this to. So I want to add this to my women's accessories collection. So I want to go into the left. I have accessories as a collection, baby item clothing, not clothing. Yeah, women's clothing and accessories and then just women's accessories. I want to add it to those two collections specifically. Once I have done that, I can go on ahead and go into the description on the top and customize the description. So the descriptions from these products usually are a bit too long. So I would recommend that if you know, shorten it up or customize it a little. Now, I don't want this to be so long. I'm just going to cut this out and I'll just make it this short like this. And then after that, I can add my own, you know, quotations, lists, as well as, you know, bold items, anything else that I want in my description. Then we have the variants. So not, I'm not going to offer the option for people to purchase all six colors. I'm only going to offer black, hockey, blue, purple, and rose. That's it. And the sale price for this is listed as 20, but I'm going to set a profit. So I want a 10% profit or where did it go? Mm, our current product, where is it? Yeah, so I have this particular product again. I'm just going to go into the variants and then we have all of these variants. I'm going to uncheck all of the extra variants that I don't want. I only want my basic variants in this, not all of the excessive ones like so once i've done that we have the sale price which we can also set so let's say i want a 30 percent profit margin and this will change the sale price accordingly so it's 13 dollars. i can mark this up a lot by a lot more so let's say i want this to be a 40 percent profit i think 14 dollars looks pretty decent and then after that i am going to go ahead and click on the next section which is the images section so i am only going to display the images of the variants that i have selected so i'm going to uncheck a lot of the variant images because i don't need so many images displaying the same thing over and over again and then i'm going to click on publish to my store and now my item from zendrop will be listed on my shopify store and now once i receive a order on my shopify store for this product so if i go into this product and you guys can see it has now been listed i can click on add to cart and then i can click on checkout over here and i can check out like this so we are just going to add an address over here like so click on save and then after that we are just going to place our order and once our order has been placed so once you have received a drop shipping order you're going to find it in your orders section and what you're going to do is instead of fulfilling the orders yourself you're actually going to request fulfillment from zendrop and then the orders will be placed in your zendrop section and once you received the order you can click on fulfill this order and the order can now be moved to your supplier and the supplier can send it to your customer so in this way you can get started with zendrop drop shipping it's really easy and simple and i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our youtube channel and if you have any questions or queries leave those in the comment box down below i would love to know what you guys have to say